Hello and welcome to another screencast by the London Metropolitan University. My name is JD and I'm from the E-Team. These screencasts are aimed at tutors who want to use the TechSmith Relay application. There will be two screencasts. The first screencast will be on how to make the recording and the second screencast will be on how to give access to the recording once it's on the server. I hope you enjoy the information in this screencast. If you do not have TechSmith Relay on your computer, you can install it by going to London Met Apps, which you should find on your desktop. When you open London Met Apps, it will give you a list of applications that you can install on your PC. If you scroll down to TechSmith Relay, you can just double click that and install it. Once it's installed, if you refresh the application, you should see successful in the actual status. Once TechSmith Relay is installed onto your computer, you should see this icon. When you double click on this icon, you will get this display page. At this point, you should be able to see your audio level going up, providing you have a microphone, and it's asking you to give the recording a title and description. However, at this point, we would advise you to log in firstly. So click on the login icon and put in your details. Once you have logged in, then give your recording a title and a description if you so wish. Then we would advise you to test that you can record by clicking on the test icon. After you've completed the test, you can then start recording your screen. What I'm going to do as an example is record a PowerPoint presentation. So click on record, select the screen you want to record, and now the screen is recording in TechSmith Relay and you can go through your presentation. When you have finished with your presentation, then you can pause the recording and continue, or if you're happy, you can click on to stop. Once that's done, it will finalize your recording and give you an example of your recording in the main window. If you press play, you will be able to hear the recording and see the screen moving in front of you. The only editing that you can do is to trim the beginning or the end of the recording. To do that, you click onto trimming and you bring in the trim handles where you want the screencast to be trimmed. Once you're happy with that, you click submit and that will upload your recording to the server. When the recording is ready for viewing, you will get an email sent to your email account with the title Media Library. When you open that link, you will, you will see three further links. The first link is to view the recording. The second link is to embed the recording which can be embedded into WebLearn. And the third link is the link to share for anyone that you want to view the actual recording. So if I click on the first link for an example, it will take you to the Helix Media Server interface where you need to enter your username and password. Okay, now that you've seen the first screencast, Please look out for the second screencast in the series, which shows you how to give access to the recording once it's on the server. If you need any additional information, please contact selt.elearning at londonmet.ac.uk. Thank you.